Don't be fooled. I'm not the special. Hey, y'all know what time it is. It's time for smoke session. Smoke session. Shout out to the live studio audience. You feel me? Make some noise. I'll push you out the window. Don't fall for my potential. Yeah. Hey. 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 Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Get to the other boy. Hey, yo. So this is the section where we allow those in the live studio audience to give their two cents, break stuff down, and communicate with us. Um, I'm actually going to place the mic their way so they can come up and speak. Um, you gonna let them talk about anything? If they want to break stuff down in, in in other ways too, I'm definitely down. You know what I'm saying? Any if, smoke y'all got? Yeah, any smoke y'all got? Or you I know like what I'm saying? Smoky. Like, or if you want to just kind of talk about what we just talked about now, it, the floor is open. We got real smoky last week. Oh, bro! Is it? <laughs> I told women they're not the prize. They almost fought me. <laughs> <laughs> Heard about that? Oh, it was a great time. I can't beautiful. wait to see was, that. Oh, bro! Oh, I, yeah. I can't wait beautiful. to see that. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. unlimited. Clip. Did you see the? Did you? Did you Oh yeah, it was eight. unlimited clip. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh. A theological clip. Come on now. I need to know what I'm gonna say. Um, but no. So you <laughs> said something about too late. He was about to push a button. It's cool. Keep going. No, you good. You're good. Oh, do I need to stop? It wasn't on you. No. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. All right. No, no, no. So you made a comment about making an overemphasis about having degrees and yeah. church like that. So yeah. my biggest thing is the church is still a business. Mm. So. It is still, mm. I think it is still good to have people that do have degrees. Why is it always me? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it actually is. It's always me. Oh, me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Keep going. No, it's quiet. Well, get this thing. <laughs> I also had a, well, I also had a comment towards you. Yeah. I, I think you might have said something. Yeah, anyway, get that nigga. I think he that it is still it. necessary <laughs> to have people coming? that have degrees right. for just operating business. So, yeah. so like I have an MBA mm-hmm. and I work at a church. Never thought I would, mm-hmm. but I do. And I also do feel like I get paid at the rate that I would if I were in the regular marketplace. Mm, you know what an MBA going for these days? I know that. For a black woman? I get that. <laughs> for someone with less experience. No, no, no. I, I noticed I said an MBA. I understand. For a <clears throat> black woman. Not no experience tag on it. NBA, you NBA young girl. I'm I got wow. I got two words: diversity and inclusion. I understand. I could probably you get paid get more. Bubble, <laughs> double plus tax. <laughs> Continue. Before I was saying. Continue. But <laughs> y'all are helping me in the, in my go ahead, go in my ahead. argument. I, my, I don't really have a long argument. It's just that I believe that it is important to have people in the church that have degrees so that the church can operate as business. Yeah, yeah. and I never said it wasn't necessary. I said it's overemphasis, and the fact that people look at church as a business is a problem. That's that's literally what I was about to say. Like because I was about to say, a... even with these degrees, it should always be spirit led. You in the church, I don't care what your. But why can't it be? But why can't it be? When you file as a nonprofit, you are now declaring yourself as a business. And well, actually, yeah, and actually, church, church churches don't true. have to um, declare themselves they as don't. a nonprofit exactly. yeah. because you just you just already yeah. are. you already have that. But but why is it a problem to call yourself a business? So because well, when you when yeah, you see people as customers, because that's literally what happens. Get these niggas. You see people as customers. Uh, this is niggas. this is my experience. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this okay. is just my experience. Okay. Get these Most niggas. of the places that I've seen that talk about and heard even where I've been, <laughs> yeah. when they operate as a business, mm-hmm. they, they start making a lot of political decisions, a lot yeah. of not spirit-led decisions. They try to do what, what's going to bring in the most people, which means uh-huh. more money, mm. and with this money we can do this, and we just bring it. Is that I, done from a leader? Perspective my, hold on, let me. Perspective. Well, hold on, hold mm-hmm. on. Let me back clean up in the quick. church. Yeah. Let me back. Oh. Let me let me back Wait, clean. Is up. it done from what? Is it done from a leadership perspective or? A... It's my finger. It's a finger. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ready to? <laughs> okay, but okay. So my my comment to that is yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. But when you do have all of this money and you don't have someone that. Is, if it's just all spirit led. No, 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 no. They can have the degree. Have the degree. But that is a tool for the Holy Spirit to be able to use for what you need to do. That's all I'm saying. But, but even though I call it a business, doesn't mean that it's not so, spirit led. Well, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Let's let me back clean up real quick. What's up? So oh, here, oh, hey, oh, oh. Oh, wait, brother. <laughs> um, so I said an overemphasis. 
Right. For churches sure. need ca- churches need accountants for sure. Churches need people who understand organizational structure. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? Churches need lawyers. But she's just addressing Agreed. the emphasis. I said overemphasis. But, but she's just addressing the emphasis. That has that still has to be done. All right, and, and, yeah. So, so I'm, uh, what I'm saying is, my comment is directed towards not people having degrees. It's just it's if it's too much of someone. I don't degree. think every position in the church is a requirement for a degree. I would I, I would agree, agree with that. that. So I so and, that. and that and so here's my point. Yeah. Here. Even and 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 I I'm very very particular about words. Even when people say church is a business, I got in trouble with this last week. Even when people say church is a business, that is wrong. Church is not a business. God is not in the. It, God is not in the, in the business and the workings of bottom lines. I, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the thing. Hold on, wait, wait. I would say most okay. churches are a business, though. When I, you when you declare yourself. I'm in not talking business bro. world or corporate world. Bruh. You are a business, bro. That's that's bro. not. That's not what I'm Obviously. saying. Okay, man, go ahead. You don't have to follow the He said, tell me to go. And just okay. go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bro. You good. You good. I know you're passionate. I love you, though. <laughs> ah, how does that fit? <laughs> what I'm saying, so what I'm saying is it's not a problem for there to be a business aspect. There's not a problem for things to be in order. That, that That's not an issue, okay? That's not a problem. That is very much so biblical. God is a God of order. God is a God. What are y'all doing? He started rubbing his beard. I thought something was about beard, and so he started rubbing his beard. Why is like, everything just... about you, Mitchell? <laughs> God, <laughs> dog. It's that's so smooth. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm sorry. Okay, look, because Maya been on the hot seat. I got to get to her. So what I'm saying. So what I'm saying. Yeah. What I'm, so all I'm trying to say is things are okay with there being these aspects to bringing order to the body. But people don't exercise it in moderation. Mm. Okay. There is an over, again, there's an overemphasis on these things. And so what you see more often than not is that people are justified in the church by what they're able to accomplish in the real world. As opposed to saying, hey, how do you serve? Where's your heart for God? Right. And not to say you again, not to say you can't have a degree, have two, three, four, five degrees and still have a and not have a heart for God. But what I'm saying is where let's be honest. Do we see the church putting more emphasis right now? And so, it's, it's so, so is it is it the church is because a church and using your gifts is for the purpose of edifying the body. Is it now? OK, bet. I learned this in the real world, but I also have to have the uh, the, the perspective of being that I'm working for a church. My goal is to edify the body in this place. Right, right, right. So, 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 and that that's an individual standpoint, right? I'm not I'm not coming from an individualistic standpoint. Okay. I'm coming from like church leadership, right? Okay. Okay. And so, yes, that is 100 percent true because <clears throat> the Lord can use you to exercise and hone your gift mm-hmm. in real world settings. That's not that's not a contention right now. What is in contention again is holistically. The church is is put is placing an overemphasis on real world quali- on worldly qualifications. That's all I'm saying. I don't think there's anything wrong with degrees. I think that is beautiful because I think that shows the flexibility, the diversity, and duality of the Lord to say you can also be spiritual but also have these real world applicable tools, right? Mm-hmm. But one has to precede the other. So, question. Uh-huh. So. If there's an overemphasis on degrees, uh-huh. what should it look like instead of that? Uh, let's use the D word, discipleship. Okay, elaborate. Because I mean, like, because you can I say it's a cop out. It's not. But, it's not. But it's I mean, not. like, okay, so it's not. It's not. What? Why would you even suggest that discipleship is a cop out? Are you? It's. She asked if there's an overemphasis mm-hmm. of degrees. Standards should be discipleship. So what I'm saying is, so so what, so what you're saying is, is when somebody is interested in hire somebody, that means they should be willing to disciple them. I think if that's the case, then uh-huh. when you're telling somebody on the other end, yo, um, you need experience. It's like, well, if my experience is based on my character, uh-huh. that's what the purpose of discipleship is for—to build my character. Okay, cool. I'm just going to speak from my from my from my experience. Oh, okay. Church I grew up in. Every youth pastor has been an outside hire since I left. 
Dang. Does anybody see an issue with that? I got yes. you. Dang. Okay, I get what you're saying. It's, there's no one that's in the church that has Dang. been. If the church is a community, and in community, there should be leaders. Mm. You ain't got nobody? You telling me you got to go. Hold on. <laughs> oh, he, he, got, he has a great degree. He went to this school, this school. Okay. <laughs> you telling me there ain't been a kid here that you couldn't pour into? That you can raise up. So let me ask you this: what what roles of the church do you think it needs to be like? Hey, we need to look at their spiritual walk a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. They're teaching and or right. I'm sorry, between finances, who what roles? So I mean, I, I think yeah, I think that to be? that part I think is a little more obvious, right? Is that kind of what you were? Oh, oh keep going. Run it back. Hey, don't leave. sit no, back no. on the trash no, I can. No. no, I was just saying, is that? Hey, do, do, do. Please stay with me tonight. Hey, don't leave me, girl. Hey. Oh, no, it was it was just dance, what you a dancer? Yeah. Hey, oh, <laughs> yeah. What roles do y'all think need to be more uh, looked at when it concerns this particular discussion? Like, hey, well, he made me think about it. Like, mm-hmm. you made me think about the difference in like your administrative roles versus like pastoral. Yeah, I, yeah. and it's, I think that might be the difference. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's very obvious that. An accountant can be discipled, but I probably want somebody with an accounting degree. degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My youth pastor doesn't necessarily need a finance degree. That's cool. That's amazing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for maturation, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm just a little, again, I'm a little confused why. I see a lot of times churches are struggling to hire some of these positions. And I'm wondering, like, these are things that people can be developed in. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Which is discipleship. Which is discipleship. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I thought it was a cop out. And then you're saying the aspect of, like, yo, hire based on character. How would you, like, how? what's the best way to see somebody's character? I get that, bro. But, like, uh-huh. when you're discipling somebody, you're building their Some experience. Yeah, but, that, but that, that's my point. That's my whole Appreciate point. Appreciate you. Thank you, Maya. That's my whole point. You feel me? Yeah, it's Catch-22, bro. Life is full of Catch-22. Wait, what's... Oh, oh, so check it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the camera right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the camera right? Hold on, hold on. Y'all really can't see all he got I'm a, saying is... Y'all can't see he got a hole in his tights. All I'm saying is... They don't want to put in work. They want a microwave youth pastor. You say what? Say that again. They, they don't want to put in the work to disciple our youth. They want a microwave youth, youth pastor. pastor. Oh. Who is they? The church. The church. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. If they're, if they're switching youth pastors every five seconds, they don't want to actually put in the work to raise someone up. They go off of the fact that your hat backwards. They go off the fact that your hat backwards. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They rather you listen to LaCroix. I believe. Hey, you hear it. backwards uh, and you wear skinny jeans. You hear Kayla E. Wiley. He said they go off the fact that your hat backwards. It's I'm I'm, I'm not going to be so And I'll take the smoke. I'm not going to be so quick to go on that because at the end of the day, when you see somebody who has good character, Uh who has the qualifications, Yeah. Is a lover of God, uh-huh. a good family man, right? And then you try them out as a youth pastor. And it's like, man, this isn't working out for our church. Yeah, you have the ability to make an adjustment. Well, uh, yeah, and it's not. I'm not against. I'm yeah. not 100 percent against outside hires, but I'm, but my question is, why is that? I, I see that more than you know. And it, and you told me I can't go here, so I'm gonna tiptoe around it as much as I possibly Who can. Who said you can't go there? You did, boss man. Where where for how for how come? Why for how come? I got to be playing for yo. It's easy. Inconsistencies of being able to travel across the, the inconsistencies. Travel, the destination of location. Mm, keep going. In your predicament. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the <good> <laughs> nah, I'm I'm I I just. Wait, wait, what what did I say? You can't touch on. 
Entrepreneurship? <laughs> Next week, two near entrepreneurship. <laughs> <laughs> he not picking up what I'm putting down. I'm not. I think he is. You know what it is? The skin? I always talk about black people. Oh. Uh, well, you told me I couldn't. Talk yeah. about black people? You, you oh. said that you said at the beginning of this. You, he what? did. Yeah. You you have. You see that red button that says record, church. meaning you, you record. Specific church or organization. You have literally the worst memory of anybody under fifty that I know. Dang. Under fifty. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 and, he knows and, it. He knows and, it. and for reference, I just insulted a battle rapper, and he has no comeback, so he knows it's true. Dang. <laughs> Damn. 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 <laughs> oh, no gap okay. up. Okay. No gap up. I, I don't even remember what I said. That's so sad, bro. Dang. Wait, wait. The proof what is in I the pudding. Say? What did I say? I literally said I want to make this. I I think this would be more specific to black churches. And he was like, Nah, bro. I want to bash the black. Church. I want to bash the black church. No, no, Some of those lines. I'm anti-bashing the black church because if we're talking about church in general, no, okay, bet. If that's where you going, nigga. Oh, oh, brother, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, now. Oh, no, 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 no. But I, I just, are you, what you're saying? That's what I'm just saying. Are if you, if, if you put an emphasis on black church, I'm like, yo, this is like churches in general. Church? This is, say, if we're talking, the, 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 if, if the context really, was overworking and church burnout, he didn't this say it. Isn't a, I haven't this really church said problem. anything. This is a church. Yet. This is a ministry. In general, this problem. Is a nonprofit. Yeah. And so, like for me, I'm like, yeah. I'm not, my goal isn't to bash the church. In like, it's not, it's, I'm, I'm not trying to bash the church. We. This is a solution based podcast, and so I'm like, yo, let's address the problem. Let's try to come to an agreement on what we can do to do better. Yeah. On yeah. our end, what can I do yeah. in the now? What Agreed. I do in the future. What can I do for my legacy? Yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying, I'm not making it. About black. <laughs> it's me about yo. I'm not making it about a black church when it, when it comes to just this topic because that's a church in general. No, I was. Do I don't yeah. think. Were you going there? No. <laughs> you don't know because you jumped on. She was going off because you kind of just oh, oh. kept talking. That's on me. Finish the topic. Yeah. I gotta hear this. So what I was gonna say in my experience when I Dang. see. Black churches, and that's these are ones that I've been in, mm -hmm. and the ones I've had the pleasure of mm -hmm. observing. Mm -hmm. They struggle with discipleship, and when it comes to hiring, your churches—I mean, the church you grew up in—what are they doing right now with their youth pastor? Whoa, you going there? Dang, my church, my my church I grew up in, same thing. I'm I'm not I'm I'm not saying this is all black churches, but I'm talking from a place of experience, and so. What I'm, I'm just I need the <laughs> again. He's a battle rapper, guys. He likes to argue. I'm not trying to argue. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying the fact that you're not arguing. <laughs> the fact take that you're not arguing. Take it up right now. Yeah. Yeah. Take it up. We're right talking. Why, why, how come all of that be a battle rapper? Right. Why can't Why can't I be a, a gamer? Why Why can't I be a? a no, you, don't, you don't get paid in the game. Who Who, who knows you? Huh? Why can't I be? Because you're on contract. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're on contract, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, yo. Um, so that's that's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to bash the black church. I think, you know, I, I see in my experience, I've, I've I grew up in one. In college, I was in one. And now, you know, I go to a more diverse church. And what I'm seeing is, <sighs> man. have more to say. I'm um, waiting. What else bad. you guys waiting? I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm yeah. Finish. What I'm saying. What I'm seeing is is like, and and this is even a deeper conversation. But what I'm seeing is again, that's where I see more of an overemphasis on the like education in the black church. Yes. Not in a you. Wait, wait, wait. Fam. Have no, ever, sir. Have you ever applied for a youth pastor job at a white church? Because I, I don't. Have. I don't have to apply. Have they just have. ask. <laughs> But it's, it's still the requirements of education. No, I don't see that. I, again, my experience. I'm not saying this is not blanketed. I'm, you found one job on Indeed. Now you're making it all about that. That's not even about that. That's not even about that. That's, look at Wes. He's shaking his head. He's raising his hand. Same thing? Dang, that's crazy. You put, up you put your hand up. I, I agree with you. My, my experience is. Well, 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 you need to get on the mic. <laughs> well, Wes, uh, uh, okay. 
So what? So so, so yeah yeah. So so all I'm saying is this is I'm not I'm not going to categorize and blanket all black churches or all you know non dom non dom churches. What I'm saying in my experience is what I've seen. And so and so I'm saying it's less about discipleship and more about outsourcing. It's yes, but but it's it's we have to outsource, and I don't know if they're making these connections. We have to outsource because we're negating the biblical system that the Lord has given us. I, I would say that. Oh. <laughs> like I said, bro, look, we with the two yeah, very prominent black, black churches no. in the area, and what they doing right now, fam? I, they just outsourced. I'm saying, bro, it's crazy. But I wouldn't need to confirm with the statements and allegations. Go ahead. What up, easy beasy, beautiful? What? Oh, what? Cover girl. He shake his head. Hey, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. What's hey, it? yeah. Byron. You can't. You can't. No. Just... Check hey, your head. Check yeah. your head. One time, right, bro. So, anyways, I, I got up here just because I was gonna say that. Um, hearing what you were saying, that's that's been my experience as well. You know what I mean? Like growing up in a black church, going to school, going to black churches, and now um, coming back around full circle to where now I'm. You know, seeing more up close what it's like, you know, how they do business and how things are done at a white church, primarily white church. And I've seen it, it's kind of crazy how much inward like promotion, like, you know, like people that have been their own own kids. I'm talking about like they've got the particular the particular church I'm, I'm thinking of right now has as a has a um, <laughs> has a has a youth like a head youth pastor that that grew up in their church. Mm-hmm. And they're constantly bringing people up, like, "Hey, like you've been working with us for this ma- this this many years, so long. And we're going to promote you to being head over these other areas." It's not. It's like almost no outside hires. It's almost all inside hires. It's all like focus on discipleship. Whereas, it's m- I won't say all focus on discipleship because that's that could be a lot. But like, it's yeah. more discipleship if you're focus. Doing inside hires, I would say you're focused on discipleship. Yeah, I, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. that. Yeah, for sure. And I'm yeah, and it's not that it can't. It's always going to be right, but I'm just saying like that's what I've seen more coming from white churches mm-hmm. than I ever have seen in black churches. Personally, that's that's just an experience that I've had, and so sure. I feel yeah, you when you say I, that. I, I, I will say it's it's a danger to make a personal experience or an exception become a rule. Yeah, as to for say, sure. Hey, yo, this went wrong because I saw this happen. You know what I'm saying? Because if that's I, I don't. If somebody's able to be a youth pastor for an extended amount of period or extended amount of time, two three years plus, I think that's a successful, you know, saying execution of what you were doing. You know, what I'm saying as far as like, you know, yeah, if you met the standards, things like that. <coughs> for uh, sure. But also, yes, obviously, if we're looking for the wrong that happened, we'd be able to always pick, pry, and, and find where something went wrong. But I did not know that most, in your experience, most white churches didn't outsource and would actually find youth pastors and who they built up. If that's the case, I would say that's fire. I was yeah, about to say, even, even in the so, church, I, oh, go ahead. Go, go ahead. So what's, so what's the, what's the difference thing? Okay. So like you said, you're in a predominantly white church, so they're doing discipleship in the church to bring up their people for the youth. So what's the difference between your church and they're bringing in five outside. People so, so, to, so the church I grew up in, I, I don't go there anymore right now. Okay. Neither do I. So uh, the church I grew up in, and he can attest because our churches. I would either confirm it or not. They were, <laughs> okay, I won't ask him to. But the church a person in this room went to, <laughs> their their youth ministry were was booming at the same time. That's facts. As the church I grew <laughs> up in, that. right? Okay. And He's so I know multiple people, multiple people that grew up not only in my church but in his church. And I know where they go to church at now. Our yes, churches collaborated multiple a lot, times. Mm-hmm. like 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 a lot. I don't I'm, know why we, we might we might have actually seen each other before. We this. probably have. Like, like when I so like, when y'all two left. So so just went down. so so here so here. It, it, it's not about when we left. It's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not us. It's not us. Ended up transitioning. All right. So so here's a basic here's a basic principle of leadership. The position will always outlast the person who holds it. That's facts. That's facts. facts. Okay. That's facts. So, if that is the case, right? Bang, even bang, even bang, like bang, it's secular bang, from a secular bang. standpoint, they get this, right? Okay. So, if the position is going to be there longer than the person, 
one of the main functions of someone in a leadership role is identifying somebody who can carry yeah. out the mission yep. when you are gone. Yeah. 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 Yep. So I guess the problem is investment then. Discipleship. Discipleship. Yes, yeah. that is the problem. That, yeah. that the like that is the problem. Like when you see a church that can re- that can reproduce and refill positions <clears throat> in their body, right? From within, that can be one of two things. I'm not going to blame. Again, we're not speaking generally, right? Either it's just a whole bunch of nepotism, or one other possibility is that they're building people up, right? The church I go to now, we've been through so many, so many youth pastors and young adult pastors. Every single one of them I've sat next to on Sunday. Haven't had to outsource, you know what I'm saying? Haven't had to go find people. People come to the church and they get plugged in, right? But there's not a lot of posting jobs on Indeed because they have people who are getting poured into. They have people who are doing life with one another. Well, there was, if that's the case, then that is a counter to because you go to a predominantly black church, right? No, no, not right now. I grew up in one. I go to a predominantly white church now. It's pretty diverse. It's predominantly white. I'm trying to help us out. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm Love saying? Nah, I can't. I'm sorry. For I can't help you out either. I don't want to lie. I came from the outside. Do not want to lie. He said, I came from the I came from the outside. So, I, yeah. Outside? From the church. I'm not from my. Were you? I didn't grow up from I, the church that I'm at now. I didn't grow up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for not sure. at all. So, but what they did, outsourced like a mug. The outside hire at a black church. What? No. Wait, uh, but, He's but from you, you went to your church a couple years before you actually. Before. Not at all. No, no. Nope. no he did not. Oh. DP brought I literally, him in. I literally came from Kids Across America. Oh, I mean, it's, it's stop stop whoa, DP whoa, though. Bro, he got whoa, it right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I literally came from. He said, "Stop snitching." You're Florida. Yeah, yeah from I came, Florida from, to came from Florida to, to camp to. I thought you were there for a little bit. Not at all. He wasn't. My first time meeting the pastor was my first day on the job. That's crazy. Shout out to I had a phone whoever, conversation whoever with him. Was the connection? And, 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 and you know what's crazy? Shout I know you. kids that grew up in that ministry. Yeah, they were my campers. Yeah, that's crazy. That's too. I, I, I can relate. So that's all I'm saying, bro. Is I think we look for qualifications where the Lord has already provided things. Yeah. So. Yeah, disciple your people, money. You had another question? No, man. You, Y'all got some more smoke for the, the, for the smoke session. Yeah, I, I, come, come to the fight. Come to the fight. Yeah, 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 come on. It's man. about to get real windy. Yeah, that, was my, that was my thought. Yeah. Okay. What was your thought? Did you want to say something, too? In, in the back, I don't want to say names if you're not coming with your name. Did you want to say something? Macho. You go next? Okay, back. Three, What's three the, minutes. You got three minutes. Let's go. Let's hit it. All right, what you got? That cup is good. Three minutes including That cup is good. That cup is good. Watch my cup. That cup is good. I'm going to start it when she starts. My question is, why? How can you? How can you disciple kids who don't want to be discipled? That's the difference, in my opinion. There, there. So, in my experience, yeah, yeah. Because here's the thing. There's again, you got 23 kids up in there. You know what I'm saying? At least two or three are going to. Well, you got to build relationship with these two or three. You know what I'm saying? And be on a consistent basis. Yeah. So I got kids that were in seventh grade who are seniors now. Come on, them Talk cats is working. They yeah. putting in work and yep. serving, you know what I'm saying, yep. in a way that they were not serving when they were in That's seventh grade. Key. But no, nah, but here's no. the thing. But again, this is but this is seventh with, through with, with any organization. You gotta spend you time. Recognize the leaders. Oh man. And you invest in the leaders. Real the quick. Others will follow. Yeah. Simple and, as that. And, 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 and I and this is not pointed to you, but I heard a lot of that growing up. Mm-hmm. I think the 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 tendency in certain spaces is to treat every kid like your child. Yeah. If you disciple somebody, you cannot treat them as your child. Mm-hmm. You have to dis- you have to invest and develop them. And yeah. that is a different approach than it is your child cuz your child is do what I say. Mhm. Right. My disciple is follow me as I follow Jesus. Yeah. There's a certain accountability that I that my that I would have for a disciple that at the age of 12 my father didn't have for me. Mhm. And so, yeah, like no kid is going to want to sit down and read the Bible. I don't think that's necessarily the best way to go about it. I'm not saying this is how you're going about it. But I, I'm just saying like most kids, their first check bo- their ch- first checkbox on, on, on a sheet, if you ask what they want to do, isn't going to be, I want to be discipled. We all hope yeah. and pray for those kids. Yeah. We all want those kids. Yeah. That's not every kid. 
I, the work. No, that, I know it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's the minority. And so, like, you got like you have to show them we value. Yeah, yeah. You have to you have to be consistent, but you have to show them value before they before you get buy in. Offer it. And, and and that's one of the things that I'm like I, I'm I'm work I'm growing in more and more as I've been uh-huh. in this particular position because even with one of the kids it's like we don't be having Bible study all the time we have parkour sessions and we get to talk about parkour Jesus. parkour and this brother be asking questions you know what I'm saying because yeah, like that hey that's the you, office, you the office yeah, that, that's the office now I can't do the office but you can do the office Mitchell you are the greatest victim to ever have lived dang that's in twice. any story wow. dang wow. Hey, Who's keeping no score? <laughs> Who's said keeping? I like fairness. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a relationship That's building though. Said. You know what I'm saying? It's not a straight, hey kid, come do Bible study with me. They got to know that It's hard to get a relationship built a relationship built when every two six months there's somebody new. With you? No, I've right. been there. I'm talking about the youth pastors. Oh, that's facts. Yeah. If, yeah, that's facts. But so in my experience, it's hard for them to connect when there's somebody new every season. Is that but the kids' but fault? You, but you're they? not new though. Yeah. You got to be wait, connecting wait, wait. and discipling these kids. I, I, oh, I, I, yes. You know that's, what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think I don't, I don't think this it's 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 incumbent upon anybody to uh, recognize blame or fault mm-hmm. or in the aspect of okay, well because the the pos- not the position, but the person holding the position keeps switching. Yeah. That means, therefore, the leadership. Because, like, at the end of the day, people can interview well. Yeah. People can be well. Yeah. People can have great characters, uh-huh. but might not be a great fit for that organization. No, I, I agree. I And, 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 and the, the thing is about the concept of a, you, you can talk, but the concept of, 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 of a, because we're, we're <laughs> talking specifically about a youth pastor or even a pastor mm-hmm. or even somebody in a leadership position. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, Going back to what I said before, just because you are a great youth pastor at this church yes. doesn't mean you'll be a great youth pastor in the somebody else's church. church. Yeah, That's yeah. Facts. And yeah. so, like, yo, I applied at youth pastor position at predominantly white churches. Mm-hmm. I interviewed well. I had all the requirements that were supposed to be, like, that there were said. In fact, I ex- exceeded the expectation because I have a degree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they did not choose me. Because mm-hmm. you're black. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, you said whoa, that loud. Wow. Um, oh, oh, brother. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, oh. Wow. You got oh. too much dip on your chip. Now, now, now. He may have a point. Gosh. What? Sway is in the truth corner hey, yo, tonight. Sway. Hey, we got to flash the bow yeah, out. Yeah, we we got to flash the bow out meme where he ch- where he pressing violin. Pressing violin. Oh, snap. They said his dreads are too long. Look at black.